around, Nick? What are you doing? <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? It's Kelly here, and right now I'm at Double C's Ranch. This place is absolutely incredible, so beautiful. Look, we even got a little swing out here. We got a tire swing over there, beautiful creek, river. I believe it runs to the ocean, actually. And we're staying at this lodge. This trip that Blue Gabe and myself are on right now is my first hunting trip ever. This morning I went ahead and Gabe and I sat in a tree stand just for a few hours so I can get used to it and we didn't see anything but we have a good feeling about tonight. Tonight we're going to go hunting again. I'm going to be by myself this time in a climber tree stand. I think it's called climber tree stand. One of those ones that you're by yourself and you climb a tree. <laughs> so I actually learned how to use one last night. So right now it is pretty breezy outside right now if you can't see. My hair is blowing, the trees are blowing, but I am going to go cut down a cabbage palm. When you all go in the store and you see those cans, heart of palm, that's exactly what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and harvest one of those. The guide here, Dalton, is going to show me how, to, how it works, how to cut down the tree and how to harvest it, and then we're going to make dinner tonight with it. So let's go do that. All right, Kelly, I got a trivia question. Oh gosh. What are these? They're acorns. No, they're acorns. Acorns, right? Acorns. What are these? Kern. No, they're yellow acorns. <laughs> You're redneck. Back in the day when we were hunting, it wasn't always legal to hunt with corn bait. So we'd always say, we're hunting yellow acorns. These are green acorns. But really, these are actually acorns and this is corn. But all you rednecks out there will know what a yellow acorn is. A yellow acorn. Yellow acorn. It's not yellow, it's yellow. Yellow. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh. That's a good one, too. That one's fast. I'm shaking. <laughs> yeah. This is a massive one. <laughs> oh, my gosh. My ears are ringing. I can't hear anything, first of all. All right, guys, so this is the heart of the palm. <clears throat> As you can see, we just took it from the middle of the tree, AKA the heart. We're gonna eat this for dinner. I think we're gonna make like a stew, mm -hmm. right? Like a stew or a soup. 
If you guys ever see in the grocery store, there's a can and it says Heart of Palm, that's what this is. And the reason we're harvesting it is because when you're on a ranch and you have a big pasture with, with sorry, I can't breathe. You got breathe. armpit sweat going on. <laughs> I do. <laughs> when you got a big pasture with cows, these things grow like wildfire. And you know, what's a pasture when you got trees all over it? So instead of wasting the tree and just cutting it down and getting rid of it, we're cutting it down and we're harvesting it. So next time you see this thing, it'll be in the kitchen. <sighs> now we need to go shoot something. Yeah? All right. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get you hey, back in here. the gym. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get you back in the gym, huffing and the puffing. I need to go to the gym. You need a shower. <laughs> you don't want to hug me? What about my feet? Yeah, look at your feet. <laughs> We're a mess. Are you gonna cook some of my deer meat with that cabbage? Mm, yes. Alright. So good. which one's gonna be easier to use? For you, probably the smaller one. Okay. <laughs> That's probably for Gabe's safety. Yep. And what we're going to start doing is we, we got to peel these boots off. You see how this boot comes down like this right here? Okay. To get it flipped over where it's like that. You see how it comes down like that? Yeah. You're going to roll it to the side and you have to make a slice with your knife right here. Okay. And you're going to do the same thing on this side. See where it gets real thin? Because that boot's real hard up here. You don't, you can't cut it up here. You have to cut it where at its thinnest point on the side. Okay. And you cut it like that. And the boot should peel off a little bit easier. But before you do that, let me uh, let me whack around the edge of it real quick. All right. Man, this Jenko is bad to the bone. Yeah, it is. This is going to be a little bit of a process, what I'm fixing to do right here. But we cut these swamp cabbage pretty deep. That way they'd keep better. If you cut them swamp cabbage where see it's real fibrous right here, the meat, it don't get started good up until about right in here. But when you cut them deep like that, they'll stay better for a lot longer. All right, I'm gonna stand back. Yep. It's almost like custom a coconut. The next like, but are there any squirrels? <laughs> I know, he's like looking. Y'all see any squirrels anywhere? Now we should be able to start peeling this thing down. We'll just throw those boots into the fire pit right there. Be cleaning up our mess as we're cutting. Right here? Yep. Oh wow, that was like a surgical yep, cut right there. It's the, that's where it's like easiest and yeah. most tender. Cut again right there. All right, now peel that boot off. And then you're gonna roll it back. Oh gosh. Brute strength. My arms. <sighs> I'm getting there. Oh gosh, oh, what is that? There was a bug. Oh, there's bugs. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there's gonna be a little bugs in them. I might even have to trim this one on down just a little bit more with All this right. axe real quick. So we're pretty much just husking it, just like a coconut, getting off the, <laughs> look at redneck right now, <laughs> in the fire pit. There is no squirrels in there, but there might be later. But there is, what? Whoa. Ants. Which, <laughs> ants. I so went hunting for my first time last night. I, got, I literally got ants in my pants, not even kidding. <laughs> I don't know, I, I, I know how it happened, but I can't believe it happened. Oh my gosh. Now that should be a lot easier for you. Okay. And I'll let you start peeling the boots off of this one, and I'll start getting this one right. cut down with the axe just a little bit more. Sounds good. Run it. <laughs> he's so cute. He's so concerned on what we're doing. No, he just saw a lizard right there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let's, let's move the knives. No, 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 he's about to, oh, he's ready to pounce. Uh oh. oh. <laughs> like, let me come around here where I can get him. Uh oh. Leave that lizard alone. Oh, he got him. No, he got ants. Oh. This literally reminds me of the old days where the women used to wear the corsets and they were so tight on their body. <laughs> like, have you seen Pirates of the Caribbean where she's like getting squeezed into a corset? This is exactly what it reminds me of. Redneck got fire ants on him chasing oh, that lizard. No. Look at him, he's like, get him off, get him off. Aww. Poor redneck. All right. So basically what we're doing here, we're still in the bitter a little bit. If you were to take a little piece of this swamp cabbage right here, 
and taste it a little bit better. So we have to get it down just a little bit further, then we'll get to the meat, the good part, what we're after. We're getting there, slowly but surely. Let's taste that right there. Yeah, it's still a little bitter right there. This, after this little cut right here, we'll be in the meat, in the good stuff. All right guys, so we just got done cutting this swamp cabbage right to the core. We got to the good stuff inside. Gabe's gonna go hunt some squirrels for us because we're gonna cook up some squirrel and some swamp cabbage. Gabe's gonna do a squirrel catch and cook video and I'm gonna do the swamp cabbage video. All right, so this is our heart of palm right here. And as you can see in our bowl, oh, there's an ant. No, they followed me. We're just gonna do some spiral cuts. You're just gonna turn the cabbage and just peel like you would peel a potato, peel a carrot, anything. And we're just gonna do some spiral cuts. We're here at the Double C Ranch here in Bunnell, Florida. It's a little bit south of St. Augustine. And I went on my first hunt last night, which was super exciting. I saw two deer, a small buck and a larger buck, but unfortunately the larger buck came in like literally right when it got dark and I couldn't make a shot on it. I didn't want to risk it and just, you know, I didn't want to do a bad shot, so he walks another day. Hopefully I'll see him tonight. All right. So something interesting about the swamp cabbage is the Native Americans ate this and pretty much lived their life eating this. Um, it only grows in the Southeast United States. So we're gonna go ahead and make a dish tonight with it. We got some sausage, some bacon, and some onions. And we're gonna go ahead and get started making this stew. Don's right. gonna help me because he's made it before and I've never made this. So let's get started. You ready? Yes. All right, first things first. Go ahead and uh, dice up Do the rest one. of that cabbage right there, and right. I'll start cutting up some of this bacon and some of the sausage right here, and we'll get it starting to brown a little bit for us. Could you find a bigger knife? <laughs> well, it's the one Blue Gabe recommended this is to Blue us. Blue Gabe style right here with the big old buoy. <laughs> the first time I used that knife, I cleaned a swordfish with Nick Stanzik that I caught. Oh my gosh, that's a good knife to use for a swordfish, I would believe. It's doing just fine right here. Mm -hmm. Plenty sharp. So the way you saw them cut that swamp cabbage with a chainsaw, my grandpa back in the late 20s, early 30s used to do that with an ax. And they would get them and that's what they ate. I mean, that's just what they had for dinner. That's what my mom grew up on and that's pretty much what we grew up on as a young age. But I haven't ate it very much, but I haven't ate it very much since then. When's the last time you had swamp cabbage since you can remember game? I made it last year in Georgia when we were deer hunting. Oh really? Yeah. You brought, did you bring it up from Florida? Yeah. Well, you're going to be in a treat here in just a second. Oh, you're saying your swamp cabbage is better than my swamp cabbage? <laughs> uh, well. It's like a swamp cabbage battle. But have you cooked a beaver? <laughs> I have not cooked a beaver. <laughs> I've ate the beaver. <laughs> Oh, I, I could I could sit here and eat this whole thing right now. You know that that's a natural laxative, right? So it's coconut. Yeah, well you've ate about enough to where you're gonna be sitting in a tree stand no. tonight and have serious problems. I I've been eating so much coconut, and it never affects me like that. But we'll see. I'll be, I'll be texting you. I'm in the tree stand. <laughs> you won't be texting me because me and Dalton will be squirrel hunting. Mm -hmm. yeah, you can believe that. <laughs> and redneck. How did we leave redneck out? We're for damn squirrel dog. Yeah. Squirrel dog. We need some light up in here. Voila! The sausage looks good. Oh yeah. It's so excited. It's gonna be off the chain. Got some milk. Smells off the chain. That's right. We can cook down the cabbage, throw it out, and just eat the sausage. How do you say milk, Gabe? Milk. Okay, at least you don't say milk. <laughs> All right. Have y'all ever seen a redneck? Because I can show you one right now. Using an arrowhead to get a thorn out of his foot. You were just in my car the other day. He was in my truck the other day and he... What did you do? Oh, he grabbed a fillet knife and got something out of his foot too. It felt like there was a dang light or not stump in there. That hurt. This is what happened when you walk barefoot everywhere. You get stuff in your feet. Let's show him the bruise though. Oh my god. Y'all want to see something super crazy? <laughs> Jesus. Wait, let me focus. Look at that. What happened? And we don't even know what happened. 
we were gator hunting. I jumped, scratched my arm, but I had a long sleeve shirt on, so I didn't, I didn't take it off to look at. Oh, I got a scratch. When we removed the shirt, that's what was there. No idea. But I'm strong like bull. Strong like bull. <laughs> you popped a blood vessel or something. So right now we're cutting up some onion to go in our little goulash here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Using the Danco as a spatula. That's right. All I know is I'm super excited to eat. But we don't need all this grease in here, so we're gonna dump some of this in this pan right here because Blue Gave, he might be using some of this grease for what he's fixing to cook in his next video. Oh, that's gonna be good with some squirrel in it. Oh, yeah. Are those the pickles I've been sitting in the truck for about a week? Way longer than that. In the back of the truck, no less. Leave a comment below if you love pickle juice. Ooh. Mm. Mmm, mmm. This is my favorite kind. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Prob probably the effect of sitting in the back of your truck. Now that we got all of our grease out of there, or the majority of it, I'm gonna take these onions right here. We got diced up. Throw them bad boys in there. Yum. Yeah. All right, then we're gonna take the swamp cabbage, throw it in there. Oh yeah, get a little bit of this milk over here. All right. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. Pour some of that milk in there. A little bit more. Just mix it all up and what does your brother say, Blue Gabe? What does deer meat say? Let it all fall in love and get in its happy place. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we check the traps now that I put Dog food in them. Dog food? Dog food. Did you see the snake? Yeah, it was a big old water snake. Dang, I saw him swim the oak, so... I'm trying to remember where I put them all. We're in the kitchen cooking the rest of that swamp cabbage and I saw something slithering across the surface. Gabe's like, let's go out and check it out. We got that one over there. We got one over here. A hundred percent. Can you get away and get back up there, please? Redneck. Come here and pull this one and see. I'm some, guessing there's gonna be minnows in them at least. Yeah, I put dog food in it. The deer meat did not work. Watch a spider! Stop it! Gosh. Oh, what are those? Big old weird mosquito looking things? Little baby fish. Little minners. Minners. Let me show them this though. See if the camera will focus. They're daddy long leg spiders. Those aren't spiders. Something. They're those like giant mosquitoes that aren't mosquitoes. Redneck. Wait out there in the swamp and get that one. The umbrella one? Yeah, right out there. There's not near as many crawfish as I thought would be in this swamp. Look at these snails. I wonder if we can eat them if we find them. Those snails single handedly brought the limpkin back out of endangerment. What is Fun that? fact. A bird that eats him and the snail kite. They both were endangered because their normal snail was disappearing and then that big exotic took over and now they can eat. There's a grass shrimp. For real? Yeah, he's little. I don't know where he went. He just flopped around. Oh, he's on the dog food laying there. Can't really. Why is there no more? There's a couple Look at the there. something just moved over there on that trap. The water's all moving around it. Maybe we'll catch a baby gator. A gator? A baby gator. You think your swamp cabbage is gonna be good? Oh, I think it's gonna be delicious. I think I'm gonna go off along. There's there? one more under the dock over here. Oh under the dock? Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure there's no fish in this creek. Now, is this only because it's been raining so much? Yeah. There's always water over there where the cypress trees are, but yeah. not right here. Are 
there's a water bug, minnows. Oh, there's a fish! What? I was hiding. It's a little. It was it was under the deer meat or the deer heart or whatever that Ooh, is. That's a little bluegill or something. Wormout. Oh, it's a little. What? What is that? A warmouth. A warmouth? Mm -hmm. Ow, he's a fighter. Look at him. That's the biggest fish you've caught in a while. It is. He's cute. I wish I had a fish tank. I want to set up a fish tank when I get back to your house. A little beautiful freshwater one. Redneck, look. You do not <laughs> want him to get a hold of that. I let him go. Whee. All right, I'm hungry. You hungry, Gabe? Mm -hmm. Let's go eat. Get out of that water. Okay, so unfortunately we checked the traps. There wasn't much in there, just a few little small fish. We did see a snake out there. But of course, I'm gonna go ahead and add a sprinkle of Dano seasoning, the spicy, to our swamp cabbage here. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Stir it in there. It smells so good. We went ahead and added some salt and pepper while it was cooking, but I just like to add my seasonings afterwards. I don't know why, it's just how it be. All right, let me get these bowls filled. Looks good. Oh, oh yeah, like does look good. Swamp cabbage jambalaya. It smells so good. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is, oh, it's probably so hot. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty warm. I better take my bowl over here. <laughs> Question is, why didn't we put any deer meat in it? Well, you were too busy shooting squirrels. Oh, let's see. Got some on your mouth there. <laughs> I like the sausage. <laughs> you got some on your lip. <laughs> Did I get it? Yes. That's actually really, really, really good. Not too many ingredients. You really get the flavor of the cabbage. It's tender, I'm sure it's healthy. You know it's got Dana's spicy, I already love that, so I give it a win-win. All right, Dalton, this is your recipe, so. Oh, I already know it's gonna be good. You already know. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's darn good right there. It's Dan good right there. Mm, that's dang good, <laughs> Dan good, that's right. That Dano's does give it a little extra spice and it, it really, uh, really makes it, takes that's it up that extra notch, yeah. Alright, here we go. Some cabbage. Mmm. I love it. Let me get some bacon in there. So good. And the cool thing about this dish is with the cabbage, you can cook it for basically however long as you want. It's kind of like an onion. You can, if you want cabbage that's harder, leave it on the stove for less time. If you want the cabbage softer, you cook it for longer. This is absolutely delicious. And I just want to give a huge shout out to Double C Ranch or CC Ranch for having us out here on the lodge. It's a beautiful lodge we're staying in and we can go on deer hunts, hog hunts, turkey hunts. What else? A few gator hunts, but that's pretty much it. Awesome. And not to mention, what did you say, Gabe? If you come here and book with him and you want to eat this swamp cabbage, request it. It's a little bit of a special offer but he'll cook this exact meal for you all right guys thank you so much i also want to give a shout out to blue gabe he also has a youtube channel as well check it out he's about to do some catch and cook squirrel so see you guys in the next video thanks for watching